This is the top called K40. Okay, first we're going to put this on. Okay, we have these string. They're called himo in Japanese. Okay. First, we're going to make a bow here. Okay. And then we have another set of himo outside. Okay. And then we are going to make another bow here. Okay. Now I'm done. It's very easy. And by the way, we don't want to uh, have our t-shirt off when you do when you train for real but I'm doing this for this only for this purpose to show you how to put these on okay now I'm set now you have to tie the hagama, okay? We go with the front first. This himo has to go all the way back and cross at the back, okay? In my right hand side of himo is under the other left himo, okay? And then the right himo, which is under the left himo, goes up. So you flip it up, okay? So you can keep them flat, okay? And then, now I tie it, tie it, tighten the chemo a little bit, and then from here, bring this chemo front, okay? And then, right hand side chemo, goes under, okay, the left hand goes on top of the right hand hemo, okay, and again, I flip it, the hemo underneath the other hemo, okay, I put it bit up, okay, so they're, they're flat, okay, and then again, we all, we bring this hemo to the back, okay? Yeah. Now we make a bow here. Okay, make a bow. Okay, now I'm set. I'm done with the hemo at the front, okay? Now, this part. Okay, often time, Hakama has this white plastic. Okay, it goes to the himo we just made a bow. Okay, so we put this white part inside the himo, so it sticks there, it stays there. Okay, you put this uh, koshi, we call this koshi ita. Uh, Backboard, okay, back support, brother, okay, and then we flip this up and then bring this himo to the front, okay. Now, right hand, right himo goes up, okay, right himo first, left himo goes on top of the right himo and it crosses at the front. Okay, and this is what I do. Okay, the one, two ways. Actually, we, you can make a bow here. Okay, you can make a bow here, like that. Make sure they're tidy though, okay? Make sure they're really tidy. Make sure they're really tidy. Okay. What I mean tidy here is less wrinkle. Okay, it's tidy, nice and flat. Okay. The other way is again right himo 
and left him on top. The left himo goes under all the himo. All the himo are just finished tightening. Okay, here. It goes all the way underneath and it comes up. Okay? Let's make it tight. Okay? All the way down and it comes up. Okay, now our kimo is right like this. Okay? And now the kimo on top goes down. Okay? Go underneath of the kimo. That's the bottom. And then make a loop. It goes into the loop and just pull it. Okay, now we're all set. Here. So it's tidy, it's flat, it's less wrinkle. Okay, now what we're going to do with this himo, okay, it goes to the side. And put this underneath the hemo you just made, I mean, wrap around your waist. Okay. Go, go up, it's good. And then make sure you put it into your gun. Okay? But this side as well, same thing. You do this. Okay? So it looks tidier. Nothing comes out. Okay. And here, if you lay it like that, it, it's not neat. It's not tight. It doesn't look good. Okay. You walk like a towel hanging off your gun. Okay. Make sure it goes inside. Nothing is coming out of your gun. Okay. Now, we are not done yet. We have to make it tidier. Okay, so put, we have a hole here, so put your hands in here, and then pull Keikoi, top, down. So, we have less bumps. We don't want to have bumps. So pull. Pull, 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 see? It's nice and smooth now. Don't forget the back. Okay, back is very important because a lot, a lot of times uh, people forget about the back. So pull it. Pull the back, pull the back, make sure that it's flat. Okay, looking tidy is very important part of kendo. Okay, and now we're all set. So this is how you put top, keikogi, and hakama. Okay?